do you, Rebecca Echo, take Donald Asemota as your lovely wedded husband to love and to cherish? For richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do you part. Do not pick on the most beautiful woman in the world for a while. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> that should be that should actually be, you know, like the most beautiful woman in the whole world. <laughs> Don't you think so, Rebecca? Okay. Isn't she gorgeous, Mama? Oh yeah. <laughs> More than that. I am so happy. Mm. Really? Of course I am. I mean, come on, today is obviously the happiest day. I mean, come on. Of course I'm happy for you. Because, baby, you're not looking as radiant as the woman in that. That's the should be. You think so, Mama? Mm -hmm. <sighs> what do you think? Sorry. Don't worry, Mama. She's just shy. <laughs> She'll get over it soon. She should be. Really, I'm happy. Sorry. <laughs> Mama, enough already. <laughs> Don't worry, your day will go. Very soon. I know, Mama. I know. Ah, excuse me. Okay. Uh oh. Hurry up. Okay, hurry get up. up. I need to do this. Okay. Oh, your shoes. Oh. Everybody, the car is ready. Oh. Okay. We're almost we'll be out in a bit. Okay. Hey, that's my little girl. Beautiful, <laughs> wonderful. Today is your beautiful day. A wonderful day for you, my daughter. Let me go. Okay. 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 Hurry up, Ali. Yes, I will. Any excuses, okay? Today is our happiest day. Let him drive gently. Okay, sir. Any All right, sir. No problem. Good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look, can we go?
Do you, Donald Asemota, take Rebecca Echo as your lovely wedded wife to love and to cherish in sickness and in health for Richard Okora till death do you part? I do. Do you, Rebecca Echo, take Donald Asemota as your lovely wedded husband to love and to cherish for richer and the poorer in sickness and in health till death do you part? Say nothing. Emeka, are you not 33 years old? I uh, see. I married your mother here yeah. at 26. Tell him. Time wait for no one, my son. Papa, that was then. As it was then, so it is now. No, Papa. At that time, things were better. Now things have changed. Emeka. Emeka. Mama. Emeka, when do you want me to carry my grandchildren? In the grave. Mama, please, will you stop? You will definitely carry your grandchildren. But I need to do it with the right woman. I'm not going to bring my children into this wicked world. Just yeah. like that. wicked about this world. Mm. It's only the people you need that have resisted adapting to changes. You know, Papa, we're both saying the same thing. Rebecca, time waits for no one, my son. I have heard. Okay. Anyway, there is this beautiful girl. Mm. What beautiful girl? She's from also mm -hmm. Well-behaved girl. I think you need to see her. Yes. <laughs> Mama, okay. <laughs> but I am not interested. Emeka, how can you say a thing like this about a girl you've not even seen? Huh? Anyway, I have invited her over and she's coming here tomorrow morning. You know, it's a great honor to be private to this information. But you know what? I'm leaving. Emeka, Emeka, if I cannot have peace in this house, then it's best I just I just go, Abi. Emeka, Emeka. 
Okay. Hello. Please help me. What? Help me. I should help you. Okay. Okay. Let me get up. Oh my god. slept in everything like that? because you answered me yesterday. You told me to help you, which I did. And that's all you've said to me so far. Now that's grossly unfair. Now you're making me very nervous and afraid. Why? Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> Good. So. Tell me. What? Um... 
Why, where is your ring? Ring? Yes, your wedding band. <laughs> That's strange. Very strange. Look at you. You look like you just came straight from the altar. Maybe. You know something? This is Nigeria and I took a big risk bringing you home. Now, anything could have happened. Anything like? Anything like you waking up dead or something. <laughs> it's, not, it's not funny. Oh, but it is. No need to be afraid. I do not plan to die in your hands. Hmm, that's good to hear. But we better hear better things if we gotta get somewhere. Get somewhere? Yeah, like who are you? Where you're coming from? And what you were doing in the middle of the road at a time of the day? You know? Why don't we start by you getting me a change of clothes? Okay. Not a bad start. I'll be back. Showered already. Where did you get those? I saw them in the bathroom. Aren't they yours? Yeah, they're mine quite all right, but where did you get them? I saw them in the bathroom. You saw them in the bathroom? I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? Sure. More clothes, just if you have need for it. Do you have any um, special food? African? Continental? I'll be with you soon. Um, 
onto the it's a woman's job. We've been living together now for two weeks and still I don't know anything about you. What else would you want to know? What else wouldn't I want to know? Don't push it, Greg. Many men will be happy just having me around as it is. I beg your pardon. Listen, I am not many men. Besides, you are the one that jumped right in front of my car from the middle of nowhere and all I get for my troubles is joy. I jumped into your car from the middle of nowhere. Yes, that's what you did. So why didn't you run me over? Why didn't I run you over? Sure. It would have saved you all this trouble, wouldn't it? You know what? I truly should have brought you over. That's what I should have done. Run you over. Joy, where you go? Joy! 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 Wait up! I've been waiting for you to come back. That doesn't answer the question. How did you get in the house? I tried the door, it opened and I walked in. I locked the door firmly on our way to the restaurant. I know that. I want to go. Go where? Where I'm coming from. And you believe that that's a wise thing to do, right? Anything is better than your constant nagging. In my shoes, you'll nag even worse. Well, I'll wait until I wear them. Listen. No, you listen. Thanks for your hospitality. Thanks for everything. But it's clear I have overstayed my welcome. I'm going. You didn't thank me for not running you over. Thanks for that as well. Above all, that is. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to get you off my back. I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to appear ungrateful as well. You, you know, I believe we can work something out. You don't have to go, you know that. We've reached this stage. I'm not sure we should continue to stay together. Listen, I'm very certain that we can work something out. Greg, please, let me go. No, 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 I'm not letting you go. Not for anything in the world. I should be asking you. I've been begging Greg for the past 11 months. I've never seen a woman here before. Men in this city change women on a daily basis. And your Greg must be catching on. I see. You do? A cheap prostitute like you, anyway. 
He can't be catching on. He's deteriorating. <laughs> prostitution is a thing of the mind, my dear. When you sleep with one who is yet to be your husband, you are prostituting. Shut up. Loretta. Greg. Why are you doing this cheap ah, 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 No, 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 no. Don't go there. Just because I traveled to Paris for a few months on summer holiday with my parents, does that mean you have to bring this harlot into our home? Excuse me, point of correction. My home. Indeed. I'm sorry, I can't stand here and listen to this. <sighs> what has come over you? What has come over me? What has come over you? I've stayed with you all this time because you're not a promiscuous type. What happened? I'm a man, aren't I? Whoever said you weren't. Are we married? Whoever said you weren't. So why are you making a fuss about this? Greg Dickey. You are going to regret this, every single bit of it. You know, it's obvious you do not know the man that you've dated this long. We'll see. Before in my life. Why? Is it because of Loretta? Don't mind her. You know, she's just the aggressive type. That's but you all. never warned me about her. Yeah, because well, she traveled abroad and I, I, I didn't know she was back. How many more of her do I have to worry about? None. None? Across my. No. No. Please. Goodness gracious, Joy, for 33 days we've been together under this roof. What do you take me for? A eunuch? I know you're not one. Fine, so why would you turn your back on something as simple as a kiss? Things lead to other things. And so what if it does? You know, for most men, you'll be having my baby by now. You're not most men, Greg. That's why I chose you. What did I... Did you say you chose me? Oh, uh, no, I didn't actually mean that. Yeah, I was wondering. I meant why I stayed. You know, whatever the case might be, the game rule is about to change. Game rules? Exactly. You know what? I'm human. And I got blood flowing through my veins. How many, how many nights I've stayed awake all night thinking of nothing else but you all alone on that bed? Greg. What if I told you I'm in love with you? You are? Oh, please, don't tell me you don't know. Honestly, I don't. What are you talking about? Even after kicking the woman I was contemplating getting married to? You mean Loretta? For the love of God, who else would it be? Well, I appreciate everything, but... But what? We've got to be careful. We can't rush things. For the love of God, 33 days we've been together under this roof. What could we be possibly rushing? Tell me. We're not rushing anything. Can I go and have my bath now, please? Fine. Take a shower, clean up, bath, wash, whatever. But it's not over. What do I have you for in this house if you cannot fight for me in this thing? You're useless. I should get a real lion for milk or something. Oh, 
have you been? Me, I've been around. I've been very much around. Yes. And what about you? Well, I work with Echo Bank. You just transferred from Abuja. Really? Yes. So where's your branch now? Um, so we never branch. Really? Yes. You're kidding, right? Yeah. Because that's where I buy. Ah, that means we'll be seeing much of each other. Exactly, exactly. Let me introduce you to my fear. She was right here. Oh. Never mind, never mind. It's okay. Don't worry, we'll see more of each other, okay? okay. Take care of yourself now. How did you get in? I saw the door unlocked and I got in. Joy, this car has a central locking system and I'm not in the habit of stepping out of it without locking it. By the way, how did you disappear away from the supermarket like that? Since every woman who walks by jumps on you for a walk, I said it as it What do you mean by every woman? Who else besides Nancy? Who the hell is she? An old school mate? If that means anything to you? Let's just stop pretending. It's very obvious that we love each other. What makes you so certain that I love you? Then why would you walk out on me because I merely hugged an old classmate? Let's go to my bedroom. You know, as lovers, we should be sharing the same bed. Not sleeping apart. Come on. You see, I try so much to avoid taking advantage of you. Take advantage of me? Yeah, like, try not to jump all over you because I helped you out of a dangerous road one day. And now? And now, I, I believe I have your consent. You really think you do? You, you hate kissing. Kissing is the best form of expressing love. Not for me. Okay, so what's your best form of expressing love? Words. Words? Mm-hmm. But, hey, I have this extreme desire of exploring further. Extreme desire to explore further? Yeah, you know. Don't even go there, Greg. Don't. Why? Because you'll make me hate you.
Mike. Yeah. We're waiting for you. Good to see you. Greg. Yeah. Meet my friend Mike. Hi. How are you? Just breezing from Amsterdam. Good. good. That's Joy. My fiance. Joy. Did I hear you say Joy? This is Rebecca. Rebecca? Oh, no, 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 you're mistaken, definitely. <laughs> uh, I don't think we've met before, have we? Well, maybe it's the resemblance. Well, sit down. Uh, Greg. Yeah. Mike has a business proposal for us, so let's hear it. Yeah. Good, let's hear it. Oh, but what would you like to drink? Well, uh, a bottle of water will do. Very well. Barman! So it's about. Uh, my contact is coming. The one that called you Rebecca? Imagine that. Yeah, I kept looking at him all night. Why? Because he kept looking at you all night. I didn't notice. I noticed. You know, he kept regarding you with this uncanny expression. Uncanny expression? Absolutely. You know, he had that look, that tint in his eyes like, I know you all right. And you believed him? His face, I mean. How could I? I mean, I just didn't understand his game plan. Well, whatever. I'm certain we won't be seeing his face ever again. You could be right, and you could be wrong too. You never know with these things. Is there something you want to say to me? You know what? Ask me first thing in the morning. I'm living with a stranger, a total stranger, who told me her name is Joy and someone else called her Rebecca in my presence. Hey. Hey, what? Picked her up in the middle of nowhere, dressed in a wedding gown. She's been under this roof with her mouth shut for 55 days, Joy. 55 days I've been counting, you know. Greg, please. What are you? Who are you? Tell me. Greg, please. How come I know nothing about you? All right, please sit down. I I'm ready to start talking. Please. More ears. My name is Joy Ogenebo. I'm from Edo State, Isha. Edo State? Yes. And then you just surface in the middle of the road at Aja on the way to Ebe? It's a long story. Shoot. It's my father. He wanted to use me to settle an old debt. My father is married to three wives. My mother is the last. I can't give you details of the debt, but I was to be married to a man of 70 years who already had five wives. Married to a 70-year-old man as his sixth wife. Did you hear that, Greg? My mother and I pleaded with my father all to no avail. Then I insisted on a church wedding to which the old goats gladly accepted. Then? Then I planned my escape with the driver who was taking me to church. He dropped me off at an appropriate place where a vehicle was waiting for me. I got into the vehicle and we zoomed off. Apparently you've been watching too many movies. This is no fiction. The hell it's not. So what you're saying is that you're, you're, you're telling me the facts. While I waited, I asked God for two things. To help me commit suicide or send a good Samaritan to take care of me. He granted the latter request. I don't know why the whole lot fell on me. It just sounds like a fairy tale. Come with me, Greg. 
Where to? To the bedroom. You know, I find it so hard to believe. Well, I'm a virgin, Greg. I know. And that's so difficult to come by these days. I mean, at your age, 26, to still be a virgin, that's very hard to come by. Well, I am. I can imagine I would have lost my honor to a 70-year-old man. Yeah, I feel like strangling your father. Mm, needless. Why didn't you tell me about this all this while? Because I didn't want you sending me back to my parents. I wouldn't have done that under the circumstance. I wanted to be certain you loved me enough not to take me back. Mm. I hope I've not misjudged you. Absolutely not. I wouldn't have taken you back for anything in the world. Ah, the to rush you to the I'll definitely see you later. Okay? Mr. Dickey, this is my mother, Mrs. Dickey, and here is Joy, your future daughter-in-law. Oh, my daughter! Let us do this. Welcome. Welcome, my dear. Yes. Welcome, my dear. Everything good. Yes. That's nice. Ah, my Dickey. Papa, I told you. Yes, you did. Welcome. Come and sit down with your father. Welcome, my dear. That is what I want to hear. Uh, hmm? uh, let me get let you something to drink. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. You know, circumventing the traditional aspect of marriage is one big challenge that I'm facing right now. Huh? Because I'm an Igbo man. And there's no way 
I can take you in as a wife without paying your bride price to your father or whoever is representing him. Does it matter? It does, my dear. It does. Chukwemeka. Ebu Mwam, you are my son. You are the son of the soil. Ebu Mwafo. I DK an Igbo man. So, how can you, an Igbo man, think of marriage without bride price? Because circumstances demand so, Papa. What circumstances? How many times am I going to repeat it? That her father wants to give her away to a 70-year-old man. As a means of settling an old debt. Akeko. Akeko. Fix story. Papa. Joy is the most honest, straightforward person you have ever met. Lying is not in her. Oh, listen, Chukwemeka. If I do not know that girl's background, I will never be part of any marriage. Is that clear? And I guess the same goes for you too, Mama. That's the bottom line. As a matter of fact, we're starting the wedding shopping immediately. So how did it go? I've tried everything, everything I could, but my father is not budging. He says he'll have nothing to do with it. So what do we do? Break up? What? What did you just say? Did you, did you say we should break up? Well, everything is getting difficult. Your father is being difficult. Well, I'm going ahead with the wedding, with or without my father. And your mother? I don't know about her yet, but I have this hunch that she just might attend. I'm sorry I ever suggested we should break up. It's all right, as long as you don't repeat it. I won't. I already told my mother that we're going for wedding shopping already. Do we have another child besides Emeka? You may say whatever you want to say and stop this year politics. Our only child has found a woman he wants to get married to. Which one? Joy now. Oh. That one? Yes, Papa Emeka. Besides the fact that if she doesn't want us to meet the parents, if you ask me, that girl is a very responsible girl who is going to make a good wife. Eunice, what has come over you? How do you know that she will make a good and responsible wife? Uh -huh. <laughs> Papa Mecca, I am a woman. And by their footsteps, you shall know them. So, what you are trying to say is that I, DK, should participate in a marriage on the street. Which one is marriage on the street? No father, no mother, 
No relation. Not even one from any corner. Where has that happened, Eunice? And you wanted to start from my own family, Dickens family. Mba. It will happen. So, Papa what you are saying is that you're going to abandon your son at a time like this. If he does it right, I'm his father. I will make sure that I support him and I will participate in the marriage. Anyway, as for me, I am not going to ignore my only son's wedding. Okay. You can do whatever that pleases you. Go ahead! Want Who you think I am? That's right. Uh, I'm thinking. For a moment, I was wondering. You were thinking wrong, my dear. Could you just tell us how much this is? Yes. It's fourteen thousand naira. Thank you. We need just one. Thank you. <laughs> Keep smiling, keep smiling. You're so beautiful. So we expect it to be the appropriate of our life. She should be beautiful. Be jealous. You be fucked, Mrs. This is who? This is Greg Dickey. Oh, what about me? It will be your turn too. Now, how is it? So, I'll be the what are you doing? Uh, no. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to stand up. Are you in a hurry? <laughs> I can't wait. She's in a hurry don't to do it. Wait, I wish I was the one doing it today. No, she has done that already. Okay. Yeah. Do this. I love her so much. She's in a hurry to make up pieces. Now, set!
I still have money. You take care of Bob. Did she complain of anything? No, no. So what went wrong? How the hell am I supposed to know? You were there, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just calm down. Yeah, I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm calm. Yeah, I'm calm, I'm calm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm fine. What can we call this? Mama, honestly, I don't know. <coughs> ah, Doctor, you know the pastor is waiting. Who is the husband? I am. She wants to see you. That means she's conscious. Yes. Oh, thank thank God. God. Yes. Yeah. All right. This way. This way.
Dan, you know, I've thought about life and creation, everything about it, in the last one week. But I can't seem to fathom how or why a human being would just disappear into thin air. Believe me, Greg, I have wondered too. Things don't add up. Tell me, do you believe in ghosts? Ghosts oh, are fairy tales. Exactly. I felt likewise. <laughs> That's the same way I felt, but somehow I hate to admit it. Could joy be one? Joy? <laughs> A ghost? Come on. And where the hell is she? Listen, listen. That hospital. Man, I've been wondering. Something fishy seems to be going on there. I mean, imagine these days of rituals and the rest of it. Okay, tell me, did they conjure her to faint at the altar too in the first place? Come off it, Dan. Leave the hospital out of this. There is a mystery surrounding joy that needs unraveling. You really think so? You know, Dan, I was poised to wear that one way. One way? Yes, one way. I mean, no father, no mother, no brother, no sister, no close relation or any friend of hers was present at our wedding. Do you know that? Does that mean that... Um, no, just tell me. Have you ever witnessed any strange scenario of such before? Perhaps not. Dan. Did I ever tell you how I met Joy? Not really. Now listen for the shock of your life. Greg, are you telling me a tale or is this for real? Believe me, Dan, that's exactly how I met her. So how could you have ever contemplated marrying such a mysterious person? I was in love, Dan. I was in love. Man, this is not love. This is madness, Greg. Grow up! And that's exactly what I'm trying to do now. Remember your friend, Mike. Do you know how I can reach him? Mike, Mike. What for? At the restaurant. When we saw Mike, remember he mistook Joy for someone else? Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. You mean? Exactly. He called Joy Rebecca. I remember now. Fine. Now you see, Rebecca and Joy could be the same person. You really think so? You know what? Follow me inside. I have something to show you. Come with me. Dad, I want you to take a good look at this place and tell me if you find anything strange. Well, not exactly. Hmm, not exactly, huh? You know, Joy or Rebecca and I used to have a portrait in this living room. Now take a look at that there. Is there anything odd about that portrait? <clears throat> Are you saying... Exactly. You see, the day Joey disappeared, I came back to his house. I looked at that picture, and she had disappeared too. She used to be right here. The pictures I took of her, personal pictures, all blank. The ones that I was with her, she disappeared. There's a portrait like this also in the bedroom. She's disappeared too. That one, Jesus Christ. This is very serious. An understatement. 
believe me. Listen, man. Do you think you should continue to stay in this apartment? Well, I certainly will. You think that's advisable? Well, from the very first day I met her, I've not done her one bad thing. So I have no reason to be afraid. Okay, Greg. People don't necessarily harm other people because they did them wrong. Some people, for their amusement, they just go ahead and cause other people great harm. Well, I'll take my chances now. Besides, I want to get to the bottom of this. Run away from here or make that impossible. I don't know, man. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Take me to her father, Mba. Instead, you told me cock and boo stories. Just look at it. Look at it. You have made me an object of ridicule. Papa, I know I erred when I disobeyed you. I'm truly sorry. But, I just want to know why I should be involved in this. Why you should be involved? Yes, Mama. I mean, there are 70 million males in this country. Why should I be chosen? For such mystery. Are you asking? Yes, I'm asking. Just thank God that you came out of it alive. Thank your God! That's the exact reason why I'm going to get to the root of this. Nonsense. You know, I think that Mike is going to have a clue for us. Yeah, 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 I think so. He should. Let's go see him. Okay. What are you guys? Uh, nothing. Nothing. We're fine. Okay. Are you sure? Yep. Absolutely. We have something very important we want to discuss with you. We don't know if you can be of assistance. I'm all ears. Good. Um, you see, remember the very first day um, Dan introduced you to me? I also introduced you to this lady uh, that I call my fiance. Yeah, Joy. Yes. You mean uh, Rebecca? Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, listen, Mike. Um, tell us about the Rebecca that you know. Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca. Well, I don't know too much about her anyway, but I'm a friend to this guy, Donald, who is supposed to be married to her some time ago. Then the marriage couldn't work out. And the guy's out of the country right now. Okay, um, this Rebecca, do you have her contact address, phone numbers, anything we can um, contact her with? No, 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 no. Actually, I lost touch with her since my friend left the country. Man, dead end. Yeah, so it seems. Not so it seems. That's what it is. Don't put your bet on it until I've exhausted all my leads. Okay, so what next? Let's go, I'll figure it out. Are you sure everything is alright? Cool, Mike. Uh, I'll Please. call you. Uh, right. Thanks, man. Yeah. You take care, alright? Take care. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So what next? I still got a hunch, which is some girl at a supermarket. What girl? 
Hey, which supermarket? Right here. This was where I saw her. Yeah. She should be somewhere around, you know. Uh, uh, we'll just ask somebody. We'll find out from someone. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Um, I know you cannot remember me, but I was here like a month ago. A month ago? Yeah. Uh, with someone that resembled um, Rebecca. All right, listen. Um, this sounds a little complicated, okay, but can we go somewhere we can talk privately? I don't think so. But we don't mean any harm. There's nothing to talk about. Oh really? So why do you tremble at a mention of her name? Besides, do you have anything to hide? Just leave me alone. I have other customers waiting for me. Excuse me. So what would you call that one? Anything but a dead end. What makes you so certain? Just watch my friend, just watch. The way you go, man. If you want my shoes, you'll go farther. And that is telling you the honest truth, my friend. Alright. Let's just see how it goes, man. I have a feeling the girl needs to stop her. She does, she does. I know she has something. Taxi or something. I you here to let you know how seriously we value this mission. Exactly. What mission? Rebecca. But I told you, I don't know anything. Listen, 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 listen. We are not interested in what you told us. We're only more interested in whatever you tell us. If it will be of help to us, that's all. Listen, I told you, I don't know anything about Rebecca. What's going on I... here? Huh? What's, honey, what's happening? What? Honey, this gentleman came to the supermarket yesterday. I started asking questions about the dead. The dead? Yes. The yes. Dead. Who's dead? 
Wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you talking about Rebecca or the one I came to your supermarket with? Both are one. Same person. Really? If you haven't figured out that already, then why did you come back? Um, please forgive us for invading your privacy, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, I am Mark Obu. And we're getting married at the end of the month. Congratulations then in advance. So, what can we do for you? Um, my friend here has been living with a ghost for close to 10 months now. Uh, we're not certain yet, but your fiancé here probably is our only link. How? I, I, I don't know. Uche, I, Uche, Uche, please. See, all we're asking is to secure an appointment with you where you can take us to Rebecca's house. Tato. Sorry, that's not possible. Please. We're begging you, please. See, I've heard a lot of all this kind of cock and bull story. Uh, hold on there, Mr. Shut up! See, let me tell you. The way you came in was very smart and enthusiastic. But let me tell you, your luck has been unlocked. Do you what understand? are you talking about? See, if you don't have any other thing to say, you better get out of here and stop disturbing our peace and quietness. Do you understand? Wait, 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 Uche. Make him understand. That's all I ask for, please. I don't say anything. I said don't ever come here again. You have nothing to get from us. We are on our way, and please, goodbye. Have you ever been disturbed before? <laughs> sure. At this moment, this is the worst one I've ever got. But let me tell you, you have a whole lot more coming at you. All right, nonsense. Bullshit, honey, let's go. Right, let's go. You know I'm here, don't you? Why don't you just leave me alone? Not until you give me the address. You're serious, aren't you? I'll die trying. It will satisfy your curiosity. Okay. I do better than that. <sighs> Why me? Why me? The question is, why should my daughter slump the second time on her wedding day? Well, sir, how did it happen the very first time? She never stayed buried. She never was buried. Because we slept in the same bed. We lived under the same roof. For ten months. Six days.
Sorry. You know something, Dan? Dan, for me, it's been nightmares upon nightmares. What kind of nightmares? So many of them. Any particular one? Same situation, same action. One pattern. Which is? She's desperately trying to tell me something which she never did. Okay, so if she's not telling you, that means it's not important. And what if she doesn't pass the message on? Then you simply forget about it. Dan, do I look to you like um, someone who easily forgets things under these circumstances that she will now decide to choose me? Okay, so what do you want to do? I remember you telling me about a prophet who didn't preach dreams. Yeah? You want to go and see him? Exactly. My friend, seeing Shagisha is not that easy. We'll do whatever it takes. All right, stop the car.
Au cours. Au cours. Et tata. Et tata. Tata. Your hands. Hein? Your hands. Your two hands. Trying to pass on a message. Holy one, what is the message? She did not die a natural death. Someone killed her. Someone very close. Someone very close? Yes. And she wants you to expose that person. That's why she came in the first place. So, Holy One, why did it take her 10 months? <laughs> the spirit world is a very complicated hemisphere. You see, people, I mean, most people do not believe in ghosts, but they do exist. Certainly, yes. You responded quickly because if lived with one. Mm. Anyway, people who were meant to be great, but were cut short, said only rest in peace. They traversed the face of the earth as ghosts. They do not pass their message because the media are extreme Holds apart. Holy One, what can we do now? If only your friend is ready to go the whole hog. I'm ready. Very well then! Agala Kruma! Agala Kruma! Agala Kruma! Agala Kruma! Mucha cha 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 First, you have to come with all her family members. Come! Come with her family members! To the Wakago. Yes, our family members. Our family members. You believe. Your hand. Our sacrifice. Your hand. Our sacrifice. Your hand. Your hand. Our sacrifice. Our sacrifice. Our sacrifice. Ogumogu, Ogumogu, a sacrifice, your head. refuse to rest. Is it somebody very close? Yes. Hi! Chimo! You remain Um, Could it be Donald? Her would have been husband. Achakriba! Ogumogu! No. Not him! Then who killed her now? Who? Who killed my sister? Let's 
find out now, now! Very well then. Let's go to her graveside. Ashakripa! Ashakripa! Ogubogu! Eh, Shukurakata Barava! Baya! Shakatama! Shakatama! Ogubogu! Amadudu! Amadutate! Amaduto! Amadutujane! Amadutim! Amadutim! Mamudu! Mamudu! Hold! 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 Oh! Oh! Parakao! Parakao! Bokurakata! Oh, come on, a sacrima pata, a mapachara pata, mata pata pata, quasa, 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 fire! A sucker pot, a sucker pot, a sucker pot, a sucker pot. A palacu. Whoever killed this innocent girl lying here after drinking this water, and we, yes. after all, we accepted to come here and find out. And we are here now. Washa! Washa! Achakrikba! Achakrikba! Sacrifice! Taram, taram, taram. Woo! This sound. This is sound. From my head of the grave. As the head of the family, you must drink first. Nothing happens to an innocent man. Oh, come on. Your turn. Take. Drink. I 
Give that. Hey. Your older sister? Yes. Me. This stuff is not true. I saw Donald, a very good looking boy. I went out of my way to get his number. I called him, invited him to the house. The first day he came to this house, I was not around, but the slut Rebecca was around. And when he saw he saw her, he fell in love with her. Tell me, it is not true, Lisa. How can he be lies, Dad? Of all things Rebecca has taken from me, she took the one man that I truly liked. You're a wicked girl. You're such a very, you killed your own sister, yes. your own blood yes. sister. You're not very wicked, you're very wicked. Yes. You are wicked, you're a mean, heartless person. She got what she deserved. Hey, how heartless can, can anybody be? Your own sister. Rebecca was a better woman being than you. She allowed things to go naturally to her. She does not struggle. It's like enough for you to kill her. That is because she always stood by her dad. That's why. I was always the bad one. Is that enough for you to kill her? Nisi! Respect comes to people. You don't fight for it. Well, she paid for it with her life. And that was when I set out to take Donald from her. You will never go far. I promise you this. Please see. You will never go far. You, you are sick. Sure. Yeah. Hey. I have warned you to leave Donald alone. Why are you talking like this, Lizzie? You must leave him alone. I'm sorry, I can't. You will never marry before me in this house, Rebecca. Well, you better do something about it before the 12th of June. That's our wedding date, and it's in three months' time. Okay, we shall see. But you know I invited you over. To which I'm very grateful. You know why? That led me to meeting Rebecca, your sister. The woman God has designed for me. getting all worked up. Your sister didn't just jump into my arms. I proposed to her on the second day I took her out. And she agreed on the third time. And ever since, I've been a very happy man. And you, we have to leave it at that. So be it. Myself to you. Am I not supposed to be your sister's fiance? Oh, come on, it's not the same thing as my sister's husband. What is wrong with you? Are you insane? Are you listening to yourself? Oh, come on, Donald. Men do these things with their sister's in law. Please. If you continue like this, you cease to be my in law. Please, just this once. You don't talk for me no, no. to be my. What is wrong with you? Crying for me to death. What is your problem? What is all this? What? You really think so? Didn't you see him raping me when you walked in? Rape. Are you listening to me? Didn't you see him raping me? Rape? Remember who was on top? Shut up! Idiot. <laughs> why do you have to do that? Because you're a fool. That's why. You know something, Lizzie? Donald told me everything. And because I know how desperate you could be, I believe him. Idiot. You might That's what you are. You might not know the meaning of the word, Lizzie, but I am a virgin. And sex to me means nothing except for the purpose it was made. Procreation. But how can you know when you haven't even... That's exactly the point. You see, I'm not going to punish Donald for this act. It's just you I'm worried about. How will you be ever able to erase the shame? You think there's anything you can do? To make me forgive you for trying to take my God-given husband away from me. Think about it. Think about the future. Let's see if you know what the word means. No, 
was when I decided to kill her. How could you? How could you, Lizzie? <laughs> she got what she deserved, Lizzie. <laughs> you know. I went to a babalao and had the plot on her wedding day to kill her. Hey! To get my satisfaction, I made it so near to marry him but never making it. Lizzie! Oh! My boy! Hey! And you were happy that they follow you, eh? Hey! You are a very wicked girl! Who are you to judge? Do you know what it means for your younger sister to get to the altar before you? How can you know you're not even a woman? It doesn't matter, Lizzie! I'm out of here! Come on! Leave her! Leave her! Leave her! Leave her. Leave her. Let her go! Her fate has already been decided. Makpa, makwa, makpa, makpa, ya parak patawa, parak patawa. Oh. Hmm. She's here. Oh, Rebecca. Look at her ghost. Rebecca. Who's here? Look at it. Ascending heaven. Look at her. Waving us. Smiling. Her killer has been found. Oh. Look at her, waving us. Adieu, my dear. Adieu. My dear, why were you crying? We have lost Rebecca. How do we prevent losing Lizzie too? Oh, spare me that. Lizzie is an abomination. But that leaves us without a child as we approach the grave. My dear, with a child like Lizzie, I am better off without any. Oh, no. like this. Excuse me, that girl is bad news. <sighs> Greg, you'll be wondering why I picked on you. Ghosts, you now believe in one, see very far. And you were the only one to have led the clues to Lizzie, who, by the way, committed suicide earlier today. Remember, I insisted on going with you on that business meeting with Mike. Remember, I insisted on shopping in Enugu prior to our wedding. Also remember that I insisted on shopping at that supermarket where we met Uche. Those were my carefully selected clues to lead you to Lizzie. 
Sorry, I had to depart on the supposed happiest moment in your life. But I had to choose that day, or you wouldn't have bothered getting to my roots. Thank you very much for letting my soul rest in peace. Believe me, I would have loved and married you if it were possible for your tender love and care all through my stay with you. But it wasn't possible. I will, however, be with you in everything you do. And henceforth, nothing evil will come your way. Listen to your parents. They have a nice woman for you. Don't hesitate. Get married to her. Meanwhile, keep keeping faith. Do I say I love you? Maybe, but believe me, that's the truth. You're very kind and resourceful. Don't derail. If there's any chance of our meeting again, we will. Joy, or should I say Rebecca? <laughs> told me from Ozubula. <laughs> oh, Emeka, Emeka. Which bank? So she'll be waiting for you to now. Uh, Papa, is it that easy to get married? <laughs> no, just, just listen to your son. <laughs> Emeka. You are truly my son. Ibo <laughs> man. I'm going to get married to three wives. No, no, just one, just one, like your father. Oh, Solomon. Solomon no, my, that is my role model. No, you are Ibo man. Eight hundred wives, three hundred. How can that man cook? <laughs>